Hey YouTubers, Diecast Collectors, it is me. It is Monday, June 22nd, 2015. Um, I apologize for the late upload, but I have been trying to get things together. Money has been kind of tight um, with our recent um, needing to go on some trips, and we're going to a flea market pretty soon here. So we're going to New York eventually and I need to save money for right now and it's kinda tight so anyway um, I did manage to get a new stick reader um, my other two were messed up and I needed a new one so I could get a video off before my trip happens so new sun pack 72 and one high speed card reader pretty nice it's nice to have a capability of being able to have multiple sticks at once I don't know how many of these I'm going to use. I think the SDHC, which is my common uh, way of uploading videos, is going to be used the most, but it's really nice to have all these little ports and everything. So, pretty nice card reader, if I do say so myself. Uh, very well done. Um, doesn't seem like it's going to break on me easily like the Targus ones that I had been using in the past. Um, it has a nice little cable that comes out here. All in all, it is pretty nice little stick reader. And the cable fits in there pretty well, so it won't flop out. But anyway, uh, another announcement about um, my camera. I'm going to be getting a new camera because I got a new job at Bed Bath & Beyond. And I'll be working near Toys R Us, which will be pretty nice considering uh, the location near Toys R Us and Target. So. I will probably be getting a lot more green lights for videos. Hopefully I will score some green machines and stuff. Um, so more money is going to be coming in. going to be doing some things. So I'm very happy I got a job. I'm not going to announce everything, but, you know, might be getting an Xbox. So I might add some gaming videos to this channel, a brand new Xbox One. So who knows where it could go in the future. So very happy I got a job. Um... So yeah, um, we'll be doing shout outs today and channel trailer voting will be happening where I will be making about three, maybe four channel trailers for my uh, YouTube once I get a new camera. So make sure you stay tuned for that. Um, keep an eye open for what will be coming up on the channel because I'll be trying to get way more videos out than um, having them every two months. Um, I know I just use bad English, but whatever. Anyway, so I'm going to get started with what I got. Now, the first car I'm going to show you here was more of a recent buy. I got this yesterday. Is the Batman Arkham Knight Batmobile. Now, this was uh, based off the video game car. I don't know if you have seen this yet, but I was very happy to get it. And here's the back. Uh, side here with the little gray part. Um, I'm sure the interior is gray. They even have like uh, some windows in here, I believe. I don't know if they're like part of the plastic or what, but they did a pretty good job on this piece. Gotta say, Hot Wheels does get its Batmobiles pretty pretty well. Uh, so I don't often like main lines a whole lot as a as of now because of the cheapening of the castings but I do like this one even though it's a plastic base and metal body it's still pretty nice as most of the new castings are but very nice to see accurate pretty accurate wheels I don't really know but very cool they look kinda like new newer wheels so anyway it says here crime fighting Batmobile equipped with ejector seat innovative summoning technology and the ability to convert into a tank on command pretty awesome born in 2014 Gotham City USA Bruce Wayne designer very awesome so there's that anyway next one is the Fast and Furious 70 Ford Escort RS 1600 this one I liked um, I don't particularly care for a lot of the newer Fast and Furious stuff. Um, the 143rd green lights, I really don't buy them. 
because they're a little too expensive um, unless they're tied to the first like three movies um, but this one was not too bad um, I like the way it was done for a main line um, even though the rear uh, head tail lights aren't there still got the chrome rear bumper on the side here plastic base as part of the uh, bumper but the blue base is pretty nice on the side with the uh, door handles and the uh, clear headlights um, to say the least my channel is going to be a lot better once I get a brand new HD camera stuff is going to be a lot clearer and I'm thinking about an SX Canon uh, the SX500 or the 400 something like that around maybe 150 to 200 dollars what I want to spend on a camera not sure what to get yet Amazon had some pretty decent deals on them so thinking Amazon anyway nice gold wheels too really love this car except for that chrome interior they could have gone the extra mile made it black done like a four or five piece car but oh well what can you do chrome interior don't like it but otherwise not a bad car so there's that now I'm gonna move on to another casting that I bought um, this one's the Corvette C7R this one's alright again it's Hot Wheels just being Hot Wheels but I uh, don't like that big giant spoiler I know that's a track thing and the way they have the rear end raised up here it's not like flush with the bottom I know it's for loops and stuff but it, I mean eh you know um, the front end kind of like pushes up and it looks like uh, it just looks weird I don't like it I mean I know they didn't do this with the Ferrari 575 GTC and a lot of the race cars and speed machines and stuff so I don't know why they did it here they just wanted to make it a track car um, I hate that it's just not my cup of tea but other than that it's a nice car to have but I would rather wait and see if green light does this in maybe 164th just to see if they do it more accurately I just wish Hot Wheels wouldn't have done this stuff I mean for me it's just a collector piece and I want it just because I like the Corvette racing team but oh well anyway nice side graphics no tail lights here or rear emblems um, very uh, nice hood pins and it's got the hood graphics and the headlights and the front stingray badge nothing in the front grill though so pretty nice nice wheels to I don't know if they match these exactly, but still pretty good. Alright, so now on to another car. Um, the 52 Chevy. Um, this one was nice. It was okay. I have this in the pop culture, I believe. And it's the Popeye truck that I own. Um, I like the uh, side tampo, so they're kind of like pinstripes a little bit right here with the little like scallops, I guess you could call them and the silver door handles nice red paint job I mean red's my favorite color and I'm a sucker for red Hot Wheels so I kinda had to get it again you know plastic base kinda just a sign of the times that Mattel has kinda cheapened up a lot of their stuff but other than that it's not too bad of a truck um, not many tampos in the front or the back but it's okay you know again another sign of the times that Mattel is sort of going downhill, but oh well. Now another car, um, I did buy this one. This was the Loopster. I was very excited to get this. Um, it's not really a fantasy casting, you could say, because it's based off of a coaster car, pretty much. Um, here's the riders right here. They got racing helmets on, which is kind of weird, because you don't really wear a racing helmet to ride a coaster, but oh well. Um, metal base, metal t uh, plastic top um, but other than that not bad so they did a very good job of you know the casting so I was happy to buy this one um, like I said I don't really collect too many of the off you know weird fantasy stuff but this was not bad it's more or less based on reality so I liked it so there's the Loopster I'm not really going to read the back, but it's 
it's pretty cool. Alright, so the next casting I'm moving on to here, I went to the flea market and I bought some stuff from a bunch of people. This one was from the tool guy. I'm just keeping on Hot Wheels since I'm here right now. Um, I think he has Hot Wheels for 75 cents a piece, which isn't bad since these are usually the retired cars. Um, very cool. I like Express Lane. It's like the engine, engine uh, with the shopping cart. So I have this. I have the Radio Flyer wagon out of the package, but I have the Radio Flyer wagon, and I also have the hot seat in the final run edition and the first edition's loose. So. I like these uh, wacky castings that Hot Wheels like used to do that they were known for. Uh, not really in most of the new stuff, but this I thought this stuff was pretty awesome. So very very cool. That's kind of a flashback, that old track system thing. Pretty awesome. Anyway, so I'm gonna move on to the, some uh, more flea market stuff. I went to uh, Marion Jacks. This was at the beginning. This was like in June. Um, so I bought some stuff from them. Uh, the first car is the Vet Magazine. Um, this was the last year that they did this car. I think this was the either the C3 or the C4. I'm not exactly uh, sure on that. Um, but this was as seen on the February 2001 issue. Um, I did like the uh, 1970s-ish Vet. Uh, this car was pretty cool. Um, had the bubble top in the rear. Um, the wheels aren't exactly accurate to the ones on the magazine pick. Uh, that's one thing Johnny Lightning did have some problems with was getting the wheels exact. But other than that, it's not a bad car. Um, love the casting work. Again, head, side, and rear. Uh, markers and taillights and tampos. So very cool. Real rubber tires, very cool, as that designates right there. So very cool, Johnny Lightning. Again, this one, Play Manus era, very happy to have it. Um, I don't like the 1980s vet very much, the 1985 Corvette when they had the wedge shape, so that was pretty cool to get. Next car I got here is the Monopoly. Um, uh, Monopoly series. This one is the Reading Railroad. Um, this one, the uh, 1950, uh, the uh, Ford truck, basically. Um, this one's cool. I have this in the Truck in America series, but I like their trucks a lot, so I figured why not get another one in this series right here. Very nicely done. Uh, nice collectible piece that you can actually play with. The Monopoly game. So very awesome. They just did a fantastic job on it. Now, again, I think I paid a dollar fifty for a piece for a lot of this stuff. I paid about ten dollars for these Johnny Lightnings, this one in the vet. Um, now, moving on to the next few things. Um, this was another Marion Jack buy. Um, yesterday and today, the '53 Corvette and the 2000 Corvette. This one's pretty awesome because of the little changing billboard. Almost reminds me of one of those ad mobiles that used to drive around. Very cool. I could do that all day long. Now the wheels on these ones are pretty accurate. Um, these cars, I mean. But um, these wheels are pretty uh, well done to the actual car itself. Um, on both this car and the uh, newer Corvette, uh, the wheels are pretty uh, accurate. Real rubber tires on these, um, as most of the diorama sets were. So very, very cool. Um, I have the Volkswagen Beetle uh, set, and I would love to get the Camaro uh, yesterday and today set here, pictured on the back. So very cool. Playing Manus again. I think pretty much all these are playing Manus. I'm not exactly sure. But there's that one. Now, on to the next car. A uh, double car set um, is Merrill's Drive-In. This one has the Barris Emperor. Um, they say Roadster on the back, but it's the Emperor car. 
and this one has the Corvette. I know I'm on a bit of a Corvette kick here, but this one was cool. It sports some more custom wheels. I don't know if you'd exactly see these back then, but it's kind of cool to imagine that these would be more of a custom rim. Now, very nice car. I have the little, well, I don't know if it has a plate on the back or not, but very well done. So very cool set here. So $10 for all that pretty much, um, not a bad deal. Um, I think I scored well on those uh, six cars, considering they were maybe maybe a dollar fifty a piece. Not bad in the diorama sets. Now on to some stuff I bought from the tool man here. Um, the first car I got is the Hot Rod um, Deuce Coupe. Um, one unfortunate thing here is that the little Duval windshield is kind of rattling in the package. Um, I'm a little annoyed about that, um, that I bought this car without kind of looking. Um, but I guess you kind of live and learn. I'm going to have to have my friend Don get acetone and remove that package, or I'm, I might have to do that. And then I'm going to have to have him glue this thing back on and re-glue this packaging. But other than that, it's a pretty good representation of this car. I really like the way they got the suspension in there, the headlights and everything, the grill's well done. Again with their superior casting work, playing Manus era, very cool. Black with flames is always awesome. Alright, I think I paid like maybe fifteen dollars for all these. It was a bit much. It may have been twenty, I don't know. But next car here is sort of the era of kind of like um, drive-ins and stuff while I'm on kind of the hot roddy kind of kick here. American Graffiti 57 Chevy Bel Air. Um, this was kind of cool to get. Um, anyway, it's very nice. The front end, I love the way they did that with the little bumperettes and everything. Side here and the back definitely did some amazing work with the tampos and it's a real rubber tire car awesome 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 and then you can get all these um, and this here just lists a little anecdote or a little um, description of the movie here an annotation kinda um, I definitely want to get try to get all these if I can that's something I would definitely pursue um, so yeah, very awesome series. I uh, would love to get the 118th scale cars Ertl did in the uh, sets here. Very awesome. Very, very cool. So I'd love to have a complete set of these. So anyway, there's that one. Now on to the next couple of cars that I bought from the tool guy. Um, the Rebel Rods Cheetah. Um, this is another cool car because it kind of reminds me of those uh, red lines and this was actually an original uh, red line car that Hot Wheels did. Um, it was based off the Python which was a um, show car. I believe it was called the Python not the Cheetah. Or I could be wrong, I don't know, Leopard, something like that. But anyway, um, very cool piece. Headlights are done, you kind of see like the uh, radiator up here and then the back with the rear taillights. I didn't even see those before. Very well done. So, more superior casting work by them. Has a little decal sheet. You could put decals in the car. I think these were water transfer. I'm not exactly sure. They may have been dry. I don't know. Dry or water. But, love to get more in this set or series or whatever. So, I'd definitely pursue some of these. The Vet Gasser looks awesome and Chevy Silverado, kind of interesting. The Tornado, Bossa Nova, the Super Beatnik, very cool. Metal base is nice and shiny too. It's a very cool piece. Now, last Johnny Lightning I have for this haul is the uh, Volkswagen um, set, or not set, but the Volkswagen uh, Type 2 pickup known as the uh, Bully in the uh, German um, continent basically this is a uh, pickup the Volkswagen had um, that you could haul stuff in now 
One thing is the wheels aren't exactly accurate to this um, casting uh, as these were more stock wheels in the picture and these would be more of a resto rod kind of wheel here. Um, other than that though it's not a bad casting I really like it. Um, the front end here and the back here is very nice so anyway a uh, very well done car hopefully M2 will get on board and do some of these in 164 scale uh, you never know it might happen so let's just uh, cross our fingers and maybe hope for the best here maybe M2 will do this car I've kinda lost faith in M2 machines I don't really like look at them as much as I used to so I mean they're okay but they're not the best so maybe we'll see what happens with them alright so next thing I'm moving on to here is the hitch and toe um, series um, I just got one I didn't really get a whole bunch of uh, hitch and toes but the one I did get to me was the nicest one that I liked that's um, the uh, 1966 Dodge D100 with the Airstream 16 inch Bambi um, I thought this was awesome I wish I'd gotten the silver one um, I know a lot of people probably aren't a big fan of the mustard yellow color it might turn some collectors off me I didn't care I just wanted a uh, hitch and toe set with the Airstream so I'm very happy to have it and I don't have the D100 so I'm very glad to have this um, set now if you know if you know anything here that's going on with green light um, they are coming out with the gas monkey um, series of cars so if you're up on your uh, die cast you might uh, see some of those in the wild now I'm definitely going to be trying to get that series and they got the D100 in that with, along with the Copo Camaro and the um, the Bronco from Twin Peaks so I'll definitely be picking up a, a Gas Monkey uh, set of three hopefully if I can find them being as I'm working near Toys R Us hopefully that won't be too hard and yeah very cool I love the working jack um, a lot of the features in this uh, series period are awesome I can't wait to see what they do with Hitch and Toe next it's definitely one of my favorites now absolutely love 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 this series so pretty cool I'm trying to keep it under 30 minutes hopefully I'll be able to I'm sorry it's running a little long but anyway so the next car I got here or the next two cars are the 143rd scale um, Fast and Furious um, I do have a third one I will show that in a minute this is uh, Darden's 1970 Challenger RT um, I got these in around uh, the beginning of uh, June at the end of May just about um, and they, they cost a pretty penny I mean these set us back like uh, $40 um, I did want to get the uh, Supreme Heroes by Matchbox um, but I wasn't able to find them. Um, I really wish I had gotten that um, Supreme Hero set, but oh well. I would much rather have these than those. So, and Darn's Challenger is pretty nice. I like the uh, rims, pretty accurately uh, done here. You got a uh, year one as a license plate in the front here, the uh, Challenger script in the grill, jeweled headlights, and nice side mirrors. Um, pretty much everything done to a T on this car absolutely love it um, very 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 awesome so was happy to pick that one up it's uh, definitely one of my favorite 143rd skill that they've come out with so far this and the next two I'm probably gonna show you here and uh, alright so the next one is the uh, 1999 Nissan Skyline GTR I did not think I'd find this in Darden's car um, these were uh, very hard to come by uh, during Christmas these were supposed to come out and I got them just at the end of uh, May I want to say that but um, yeah very cool um, got the nice stripes going on the front uh, they don't really go over the rear uh, so it's just like in the movie uh, the movie car is 
um, very accurate to this um, the one done here so did a very good job in the front end very nice jeweled lights the marker lights are done pretty much everything and it's got the NOS tanks the roll cage and the rear here with the license plate uh, one bulb is colored a little bit differently one's clear and one's red I didn't know what was going on there once I looked at it the bulb was there I thought it had uh, was a mistake but I watched the movie went back and uh, checked that out um, and I gotta say it's uh, exactly how it was in the movie one is different than the other and the bridge jump and everything else so very cool other side here nice chrome wheels alright so there's that one now move on to uh, another car that I got um, this one kinda has a story um, not really much I just went back on a Friday and I picked this one up this is uh, Johnny's 2000 S2000 Honda um, if you know anything about the first uh, movie um, the, spoiler alert this is the guy that actually kills um, uh, Jesse in the end of the movie. Um, so he's a bad guy, basically. He beats his car in a pink slip race, and he doesn't want to give up his car, and Johnny winds up killing him. Um, and then the whole race ensues at the very end. So that's a little bit of the movie history there for you. Um, it's not going to pick this car up well, but it's the one with the little snowflakes on the side here. A sponsor logos and everything. Um, it's very accurately done. Down to the little exhaust in the rear, and the underside was actually painted on this car. The, uh, the little drive shaft and everything. The uh, the exhaust pipe silver and everything. If you look at this uh, unscrewed from the base, but they did a great job of this car. Very very nice. Pretty awesome piece here. So I'm not gonna show this for too long, but. I love it. Want to get Suki's car next? Um, like I said, these are nice, but they're expensive. I honestly didn't think I was going to be able to go to the flea market after the two, uh, uh, the two Fast, Two Furious cars that I got because they are just like way, way up there. But I managed to swing um, a bunch of stuff. Oh well, I'll show that in a minute. Um, I did get the uh, Shelby Collectibles uh, set, or not a set, but I did get two Shelby Collectibles. I keep saying set, I don't know why. But this one is the 2011 Ford Shelby uh, GT350. Uh, I actually uh, went to uh, my training for Bed Bath & Beyond on Sunday, and then I came back to uh, Toys R Us, and I saw this one in the wild hanging on the peg, or the pegs or whatever and I picked it up um, very awesome car got the little Shelby script right there I can't really read it and you really can't see it on camera but blue stripes um, this is based off of the original GT350 the front air dam and everything and the uh, back here so this one's pretty awesome very happy to have it um, I managed to make some money selling keychains and I went back to Toys R Us and I picked these up so like I said money's been kinda tight so I've been having to like scrounge together money for like die casts and stuff and it's very hard to find anything and Toys R Us luckily has been picking it back up I think the port worker strike is finally over so we have been seeing a lot more die casts and I am ecstatic about that I am like super happy so We've definitely been getting a lot more on our end at Toys R Us, and Walmart's been kind of doing kind of eh lately. They've been kind of sucking wind. I mean, don't really like Walmart too much. I don't really care for them, and recently they've just been doing terrible. So, can't say too much on their end, but very nice car. Here, and the next one that I have, this is going to be the very last car that I show. And I'm going to wrap this uh, haul video up here. This is the 1968 Shelby EXP 500 CSS. Now the reason this was uh, EXP is it was experimental. 500, I didn't really designate the cubic inches, I mean I think it was a GT500. Um, but basically it's known as the Green Hornet. 
Now I watched the uh, Barrett Jackson thing on it about the lot it was. This actually didn't sell um, at Barrett Jackson, so it was a, a failed uh, to sell car. It must have been a reserve. So, and it's very awesome. It's a chase piece. Now I I went to a Toys R Us when I was there Sunday. I went and I hid this car along with the GT350. And I looked it up on the internet. Lo and behold, it's a chase piece. So I immediately went back with my mom after I got together enough money to buy both of these. And I bought the chase piece. Very, very nice. Even though it's not the raw metal with the uh, red wheels, I still love this. And I'm so happy to have it. Um, so, anyway, guys. Uh, but there that is. Um, very cool. It's got side mirrors on it. Tail lights and the headlights are done uh, just well very well done piece as most Shelby collectibles are I love 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 their die cast um, definitely wanted to get the uh, 118th scale uh, GT350 uh, the 2011 model but I kinda missed the boat on that uh, years ago I definitely might uh, try and pick one up on eBay um, but anyway this video is kinda running over 30 minutes um, I know it's kind of long, but um, I, I had a pretty good haul. Um, once I get back from the uh, trip and the uh, flea market, I will definitely be making uh, more videos. And once I get HD, the channel is going to be a whole lot better, guys. So make sure you keep staying tuned for more videos. And if it has to do with diecast and a whole lot more, it has to be the J-Man 63. Uh, keep watching my channel guys make sure you check me out I'm running about 334 subscribers now so thank you so much for um, what you do and shout out video is coming soon so stay tuned guys have a good one bye